Okay, guys. Um, I'm just taking a walk on the boardwalk. It's so cloudy and dark. You can't even see any stars tonight. I come out here to see Venus, uh, Mercury, Mars sometimes, the moon, and a bunch of other stars. I wish I knew what they were. Um, it's very peaceful. I charge my crystals out here. I'm not walking on the beach because you really uh, can't see anything with the camera. But <sighs> Okay, so I didn't get to finish talking about Chiron. All the planets are important. I suggest everyone study uh, astrology and become astrologers, astrologers because um, you have to. that's one of the main keys of knowing thyself. So you have to do that. Again, you could also do tarot, I Ching, divinations. You can do a whole bunch of stuff because the power is in you. And what I've been noticing, I've probably read, whew, I don't even know, 300, 400 people's charts already. Um, that's how I practice. And by doing that, I see a lot of patterns. I notice a lot of things going on. And um, definitely, I, um, let me tell you the blood intent really helped me because it's like I got hit with this, this uh, virtuoso ingenuity at reading people's charts. And of course, uh, learning from the best, you know, Santos, Sivan Bomar, learned a lot from quasi luminous and then the list goes on and on and on and on and on you guys know who you are um, well let me say something Chiron you have to look at Chiron what I was saying about Chiron and Aries people they have to kill the ego or transform the ego what's gonna help them transform the ego through your Pluto your north node knowing your south node as a strength not as a weakness, knowing your south node, which is also known as Ketu in uh, Vedic astrology, or Rahu is the north node in Vedic astrology. Learning that, learning Pluto, the house of transformation, knowing your Scorpio, okay? And then every other zodiac sign, because we have all the signs within us, we are the Ouroboros, the wheel, and, um, Anyone who has an Aries Chiron, it's going to be somewhere, it's going to be in a certain house. Again, everyone's different. 1969 to 1976, uh, depending what time you're born, that's the house. I don't know what house certain people are in, but if you have Chiron and Aries, you have to transform the ego to get to the uh, holy grail of yourself, to get to that inner light within, to get to your shadow self to get to know your shadow self you have to do these things because uh, if you're not then no one else is going to do it for you and if you're not you it's hard for you to lead other people if you want to be a leader of some sort um it's going to be hard okay now what's this paintings okay very cool um it's nice Anyone. Anyway, what I was going to say was that I plan in the next... I have a five-year goal, but let's make it even two years or less than two years. I plan on reuniting my, my girlfriend with her family in the Philippines um, because I know certain things and connections out there. I could... I could um, get access... I don't even want to say certain things, but I, I can start a spiritual school out there teaching the holy science, okay? Having people like uh, anyone that wants to come through, of course. If you're a truther and you want to come by to this school, which will have DMT pilgrimages, we will have DMT pilgrimages, by the way, so if you want to come down there, uh, live on the nature of the land, I want to have a thriving business with spiritual healing. It's going to be in the Philippines. So, Sandus Bonacci, if you want to come out there and, and we could set something up, like a, a day or a weekend where we can, you can make uh, an appearance and teach people on a large scale in the Philippines and anyone else that wants to take a DMT pilgrimage, that's my goal. And what's going to stop me? Nothing. But before I go to any center of, 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 of the Holy Grail of, of Earth, before I go to the center of Earth, I, I, I would like to 
be at my best. I want to help humanity. I have a cancer midheaven, and I take that very seriously. I have a cancer midheaven. I have Capricorni Munkali. So I stand strong. I stand really, really strong. Um, I know myself very good. As you can see, I, I, I showed you my birth chart. Anyone who wants to take a look at that and, you know, take a gander at it, study it, feel free. January 14, 1984, born in Manhattan, um, 1038 p.m., nocturnal baby. My moon in Gemini is, uh, it's very complex. I have my Vesta and my North Node in there, and I have Chiron, Juno, and I think the House of Fortune um, in Taurus. And then I have Aquarius and Pisces in House 5 and 6, has uh, also some lunar luminaries. But all my planets are from Scorpio to Capricorn. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. I have Pluto and Mars on top of each other. I have Saturn, big old Saturn, 15 degrees, and then um, in, in Scorpio. And then in Sagittarius, I have four houses. I'm sorry, four planets, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are kind of the, the sanguines, the benefic. The, there's the malefic and then the benefics. Those are benefics. My malefics are in Scorpio. And then Mercury and the Sun are both in Capricorn. Uh, at the end of house three and the Sun's in house four. All right, I have, uh, I have 72 degrees in my chart. I have 150 degrees. I have a trine of 120. I have, these are, these are certain points that equate to someone who can be either a genius or a madman. These are certain points that, um, you know, the health in the chart is pretty good. It's not a terrible health chart at all. Um, again, you have to learn yourself because if you don't know yourself, it's going to be really hard for people to take you seriously and for people to uh, to to get behind you. Now, I don't want anyone really getting behind me unless it is to help me get this spiritual school started in the Philippines. The School of Holy Science, I don't know what it's going to be called, but they will be DMT pilgrimages. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um... And again, know your meridians too. I have to check out the meridians of Philippines uh, and other places in the South Pacific. I have to check out the meridians because the ley lines are important. Just like your body has ley lines, you know, which you can work with. And I work with, I do my mudras a lot. And uh, I ground, massage therapy. I, I do uh, massage therapy with um, the aqua jets. You know, you have to be careful sometimes who massages you because you can pick up their, their energy. But, um, all right, guys, listen. I'll make more videos. A lot of you guys have been saying, Dan, you know, who do you watch? You know so much. Who do you watch? I can give you thousands of names or I can simply say Santos Bonacci and Sivan Bomar. And then a bunch of thousands of other people. All right. They're the ones who have taught me so much. And, um... Savan Bumar lives in Costa Rica. Santos is in Australia. And Savan is actually working on Phi Aqua. He's uh, supercharging the water with holy harmonics. Uh, kind of like um, colloidal in a way. It's kind of like nanotechnology. Uh, with, with Phi Aqua, is, uh, like, it's like implosion of harmony into the water. You have to check it out because each harmony has its own shape. Like uh, the third harmony has a triangle. The fourth is a square or a diamond. Um, and so on and so on. The eight is an octagon. It's really, really beautiful to know that. Don't forget, if you're going to drink distilled water, put it in copper or silver or tin. Tin is for Jupiter. Gold and brass is uh, the sun. Venus would be copper. Silver is the moon. Uh, I have colloidal silver because as you can see, my moon is really picking up certain energies. So I have to work with that. All right, guys. Uh, but yeah, I got the emails. I will start making more videos. Uh, financially, me and my girlfriend going through hard times. I'll put it out there. 
really, really hard times. I might lose my job soon, but that's a blessing uh, because I have bigger things planned. And this is just the way where my life is taking me right now, and it's very exciting. So, listen, I love you guys. Stop the hate. Follow yourselves. Listen to your heart. Know your heart. Know yourself. And keep learning every day. Um, of course, stay away from the bullshit. We all know that. Good night.